Hi friends, welcome back to another Yogi Ventures video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you have any comments, queries, questions, tips, advices, suggestions for me, please drop them in the comment section below. Uh, this video is about my recent weekend trip to Denver, Colorado and uh, it is a very good place to uh, visit all through the year but I chose uh, to go there during the uh, spring because uh, the major reason I went there was to snowboard. Uh, this was my first snowboarding experience so I was very excited for it and also I saw so much of snow for the first time so it was definitely exciting for me. And I'll share some uh, experiences and insights from my uh, recent trip uh, which might help you if you're planning a visit to uh, Denver this uh, upcoming week, uh, winter. Um, I lived at this uh, place called uh, Silverthorn which was about 100 odd miles uh, west of Denver. It was about a two and a half hour, two hour drive uh, from the Denver International Airport. Uh, this is a very good place to stay if you are planning to ski or snowboard because uh, there are a lot of ski areas around here and uh, within a 10-20 mile range and it becomes really convenient uh, to go back and forth from the uh, hotel to the uh, ski area if at all uh, needed but uh, it is a good idea to stay near the uh, ski area. Um, it was uh, a good experience. I uh, did not take any snowboarding lessons uh, uh, before I started descending from the hill for the first time. And I fell on my face uh, a couple of times. Uh, I uh, was not able to get up. Uh, it was uh, it was tough because I did not take any lessons. But uh, eventually, I uh, learned uh, how to do it uh, just by observing the other people. Snowboarding around, and uh, once I got got a hold of it, it was easy. Uh, you just need to uh, know what to do, uh, how to stop, uh, how to slide. Uh, that is the key. And uh, uh, during my video, I'll uh, show you uh, some. Uh, I'll share some tips uh, that might help you if you are uh, trying planning to snowboard for the first time, or if you are a beginner. Uh, please tune in. So uh, we started from the hotel at around uh, 9.15 or so and got there at the ski area around 9.30 and by this time the uh, ski area was already jam packed. The parking was almost full. I uh, barely got a parking spot and uh, it is advisable to get there early. Uh, the ski area opens at around uh, 8.30 I believe and uh, it will be uh, really good if you can get there around 8.30 uh, because uh, this is a very famous place uh, to ski or snowboard and a lot of people visit uh, uh, Denver or the uh, vicinity areas uh, during winters. I finally got my ski lift tickets and the snowboard, the accessories after waiting for about 30 odd minutes in the queue and I am uh, clicking some pictures now Alright guys, it's almost time to hop onto the ski lift So you might be seeing a few uh, different lines running to the mountains So just to give you an idea Each line runs to a different mountain range of different difficulty levels So uh, the one I am going to is an intermediate level and I am hoping this is the best one for me now. Okay, so I am at the top waiting for a friend who should be here in a minute. Let me know while I am taking some pictures and videos. Okay, so he is here and uh, we are going to sit here for a bit, take some deep breaths, relax and then get on to our mission.
so I finally learned how to snowboard. Uh, the basic idea is uh, you go against the slope. Uh, I mean, uh, get your snowboard perpendicular to the snow uh, the slope and put your weight against the slope. That is how you stop. And uh, to slide again, you put the snowboard uh, parallel to the slope and just balance. That's how you slide. In the rest of this video, I'll be showcasing some of my uh, beginner skills. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And uh, if you have any comments, please drop them in the comment section below. And uh, I have linked some of my other videos at the end of this video. Uh, please uh, take a look at them if you haven't yet.